Hi guys, welcome to G's art classes. Today we're going to have a second lesson of um, learning how to paint sunflower in watercolor. So I'm going to simply explain one flower with the leaf about the techniques that you can use and how to start from the middle and how to finish with the you know fictals, right? So I'm going to use a black velvet, silver black velvet brush number eight and number 12, which I need a smaller brush to make more detail start when I start the painting. And I'm going to also show you guys what with, uh, you know, more like dry, dry, dry to dry to like how to move on to wet to wet as well, right? So I'm going to start with brown, red, brown color mixed with ultramarine blue and start the middle part i'm randomly you know making more so it's more like scrambling we learned the technique the last week you know and then i'm going to bring more brown into the color that i just used and then scrabbling 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 but you're only doing with the tip of the brush you know and then i might mix a little bit of olive green and then you know, paint the inside of that. And then I'll mix a little bit of blue, move on to the left of the side. And then I'm going to use more blue even, and use more of the body of the brush, right? And then maybe I'll take some, lift some paint off too. And then you're going to use a little more like lighter brown color to scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. You want scrubbing from the last week lesson. If you haven't watched that, please watch it to learn the watercolor basic techniques that I introduced from the previous videos. You can learn a lot of techniques from that video, even though it's short. Please practice each technique more than five times so that you can make it as your own instead of making what I'm doing, right? And then um, scrambling, scrambling, randomly makes marks. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to make different sides of the brush marks and also try to make a random size of the brush marks, right? And water them more. You mix water more, water more, water more. No blue. Come on. Oops. Oops. No. Sorry, it's the dog that I'm sitting for my friend. And actually, he's. She brought the dog because I'm a co cool aunt. And then. I'm going to mix more of the blue color and then I'm going to mix ultramarine color make that nice dark part of that flower the middle I don't know what you guys call them in America in Korea we call it susu uh, I'm going to use yellow ochre, mix into that color, bring a little bit of that yellow ochre color, and then I'm going to mix a little bit of orange, blue, yellow, right? And then just scrambling, 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 okay? And then use orange color. Scrambling, scrambling, scrambling. Use green color to leave that at the part. Okay. So, do you see how I'm uh, intentionally leaving some highlights as well? And then I'm going to use more of that vermilion color mixed into that color. So, I'm bringing more 
orange tone also. Okay. I'm gonna mix in the Indian color into that orange color. So I'm making some olive green out of that color. And again, you mix water, dab it into paper towel, use more water and, you know, less colors to fill some parts. And then I'm going to use orange color again to bring it here. And think, and then I'm bringing some of the, you know, this is still wet. And as I'm putting the colors in, it mixes in to the color. So you're doing some uh, wet to wet skill over there. So mixing dark green into that color. And then adding over here too, because you need a dark color over there, right? And then mix some water and blend. It's like the use to soften the edge from the last week, okay? Hard to soften the edge. Then I'll mix more water. Then goes over here, put some lighter tone, because it gets the light from there. You put more orange. Again, if you have a hard time catching up, what I'm explaining over here, please pause, play pause, play pause, or you repeat, repeat that so you can go back and watch it more carefully and a lot of times. So you learn, you learn the, the technique. Okay, and then I'll fill that part, mix a little cobalt blue into the color I used. Fill that part because it's dark. You don't really get highlights over there. Then mix some orange color to add or a red color. I can put red color in the middle. So you're doing some wet to wet skills and more with more colors, you know. It's always cool. And then I'll mix some light green color. And then I'll connect with that, okay? Connect. And maybe like put some over here too. Now I'm going to start using 12, the size 12 brush. I'm bringing permanent yellow. Mix enough water, dab it a little bit to the paper towel or any type of you know fabric you have you're connecting these um, and then also another trick that you can do I'm bringing um, cadmium yellow dip and remember how we did the leaf so you start from the tip press the brush and then you slowly take it off okay and then you start using more darker color mixed with that brown colors that you use from the middle of the flower. Mix into that. Use the brush 8. Try to bring the first brown color used towards the end of, you know, the edge of that circle in the middle. Right here and there. Okay. And then go back to using the cadmium yellow dip color and do some dark color to mix when it starts from the middle. So you're doing some wet to wet skill over there. You keep going back to use permanent yellow. You start from the tip and then you press and then slowly take it off. So you see, you have like some guideline how you started the painting. I mean, uh, sketching for the fettles, but like you don't necessarily have to follow the whole sketch. You just know where to go, you know, and then you go ahead and add the brush marks or, you know, try to mimic the fettle that you sketched. So I'm mixing a little bit of orange to the yellow that I previously used. 
And then I'm trying to leave some highlights at the end of the petal too. So it looks more life. So I'm going back to use permanent yellow. Start from the tip. And then press and take it off. Maybe I'll scratch some colors off because it looks strong. We also won the skill from the last week. Okay, then it makes a little bit of green color. Makes a little bit of orange to the color you used before. Then a little bit of light green color you can use. No. Then you go back to use the can in yellow tip color. Okay. And use a little bit of orange to that color. Go back to use permanent yellow. some orange color use some brown color so that you can indicate some you know a petal underneath of that petals that you painted previously and then go ahead to finish other petals I'm gonna just end it really fast so that we can move on to the leaf Use some green color to come up. Okay. Another petal underneath. Darker color you can use. Mix the brown color that you previously used, or olive green color is good too for the petals underneath of the the fresh ones on the on the top. I mean, um, closer petal say. And then. I'm going to use light green mix into that yellow and make, start making some highlight to come down. Then I'm going to mix some Viridian color or bamboo green. Then I'll mix a little bit of brown into that green color to go up. And then I'm going to use darker green color to come down. Now extend it, extend it to the bottom, but I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow towards the bottom. Same thing, I'm starting from light green color, take that a little bit, mix darker green color. And I'm going to mix some of the dirty colors that is from the previous, you know, colors. And then I'm going to mix brown color into that light green color. You know, bring that darker green or you know, Pinedian color or could be bamboo green from your palette. Light green color. You see how I'm naturally leaving some of the highlights from the sun or like some from the light that you can see from the top. Like, you know, um, it's really important to leave highlights because don't forget it because then your painting is going to look less alive, you know, less crispy somehow. Um, it's really good light source that you can bring in. So don't forget to add that when you paint. Okay, so this is about done. You can add more layers in the darker parts with the green and brown mix up. But this is basically, you know, basic skills for making sunflower. Um, you can add more dots here and there. So that's it. This is how you make a sunflower. Thank you so much for watching it.